everyone, Danny Webster here from TalkNow.com, and today I'm going to show you Mozilla Fennec Alpha 2. And a couple of features have been upgraded since the last Alpha 1, and we still have the same tabs, so we can scroll over and see the tabs. So if we wanted to select a page, we can just click on it directly. So I have a few of them that have been loaded here, and to close them, you just click the X. So if I wanted to close this current page, I can click the X, and it will close the current page. And scroll over and go to another page. And let's see here, I think I have YouTube loaded. And the one thing about this web browser is it only loads the mobile pages, so that is a little bit of a downfall. So if I wanted to watch this video, I can click here, and it will load a proprietary streaming video. So if I wanted to click the streaming player, EXE, I can click that, but I can also choose a different application if I want it to run there. So I can just click OK. and it will start playing through our Windows Media Player. So that's that's a cool feature that it has the integration, but it is kind of annoying that it has to launch the Windows Media Player. So I'm just going to close out of this. And it will just bring us back to Fennec. Let's hit Cancel. We can scroll over to some of the settings. Go down to the settings. And these are the, pretty much the same settings. Unfortunately, the plugins still don't work. But um, as you can see, I can search for a plugin and it says no matches found. So unfortunately no plugins are still available for this version. So we'll just close this and go down to some of the download settings. So if I wanted to see my recent downloads, it'll show me the site. It'll give me the name and I can also search for other downloads if I have a, a large number of downloads that I've downloaded from the Fennec. So this is where the settings can be implemented. So you can show image. It's pretty small and I can't really zoom in with this camera unfortunately. So I can show image. I can click yes or no. Enable JavaScript. Click yes or no. Enable plugins, the same. Allow cookies, and remember my passwords. And I can also clear my browsing history. So that's a good feature. So I'll just close out of settings, and it will bring us back to our web browser. So it's pretty fast to load, actually. I'm running on a Wi-Fi connection right now. So it does work both over mobile and Wi-Fi. So it's very easy to access our favorites. It's actually a, a button directly on the browser. So I can just click here and it will launch my favorite so I can see that I have pocketnow.com mobile and like I said it only launches a mobile browser which is a little bit of an inconvenience but a lot of pages allow you nowadays to select whether you have a mobile or a classic HTML website and it loaded the page pretty fast and it will show images it also gives you a touch scroll sort of effect you can just uh, flick scroll the page unfortunately it doesn't load too fast but it, it did load okay and as you can see it gives us the same checkerboard effect on that it shows on the um, Opera Mobile 9.5. So if I click on the web address, it'll give us a list of our favorites and our recently viewed web pages, as well as these tabs on the bottom. So if I wanted to go to Yahoo, I can click on this tab right here and it will launch Yahoo. So here we have Yahoo loaded. And all in all, it is a pretty good web browser. It is nice that you can just flick over and select different panels or tabs and just click back and select your settings from the other side and your favorites as well. You can also go back and forward. The web browser is free and I'll post a link on pocketnow.com as to how to get this. Unfortunately this is still just the Alpha 2 release so there are some bugs